For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the calculator to find points of intersection between two equations. Or in other words, we want to find points where two equations have the exact same input and output values. Now we can do this by first graphing the two equations together on the same coordinate plane. And then from there we'll use the graph to find the intersection points. So let's start off by putting in our first equation into the y equals. So here we have y equals negative 2x minus 4. So now that we have our first equation in, let's put in the second equation, which is y equals x squared minus 7. So now that we have both of the equations into our y equals, we could go to graph. Now we could see both equations on the same graph. Now when we look at those two graphs, we can see that there are two points where they intersect each other. Right here, and right here. Now the way that we could actually find those points is by using a feature in Calc, which is this blue lettering above the trace button. So in order to get to it, we need to first hit the second button and then hit trace. Now there's an option here that's called intersect. So, and we want to go to that one. Now what we do with this is we choose both of the equations and then it'll find the intersection point. So let's say we first want to find the intersection point on the left here. Well, we need to first make sure that our cursor is closer to that point. Now once it is, we need to select both of our y equals equations. So if you look in the upper left hand corner, you could see that the cursor has currently selected our y1. So we could hit enter, stating that we're selecting that equation. Now we need to select the second equation involved in the intersection. Now if you look in the upper left hand corner, it has automatically selected y2. And that is what we need. But say for example if they didn't, then you could just use the up or down arrows to scroll through the different equations. And then once you get to the one you need, you could hit enter. So since we need y2 now, because we already selected y1, we just hit enter. The calculator asks you to guess where the intersection point is, but you don't have to do that, so you can just hit enter. Now from there we could see that the intersection point on the left side here occurs at the point negative 3, 2. So one solution, or point of intersection, occurs when x is negative 3 and y is 2. Now let's do the same thing to find the other point of intersection. So what we need to do is go back to second trace to pull up those options and then go to option five again for intersect. Now this time we want to get this point. So in order to do that we need to scroll over to that point. And now that we could see that we have y1 selected we could hit enter and we also have y2 selected now as well, so hit enter again. And now instead of guessing, we could just hit enter for a third time. And then the calculator gives us that intersection point. So here we could see that it occurs when x is 1 and y is negative 6. So the second point of intersection is at x equals 1 and y equals negative 6. And that's how you find points of intersection using a calculator.